nice of you to join me. You're pretty late, but um, I've been meaning to get you involved for quite a while, but you know, here's what it is. So basically most of the fabrication jobs are done, but you need to have a little bit of a dry run of parts going onto the car before it's painted and before it's in primer, just so that everything lines up once panels are painted because I don't want to be messing around drilling holes and finding out things don't fit when it's too late. Um, converting the wings to bolt on, not for any particular reason, just a bit more accessibility and ease of maintenance. Um, so I don't want to get all those painted and then have to figure out how they're going to attach to the car. But um, yeah, there's always plenty to do. So basically we've got a couple weeks to get the car completely ready for paint and then gonna have a bit of a window of time where the workshop's empty just the sierra in here and in that time the whole car needs to get painted i'm not sure if that's going to be five weeks six weeks eight weeks from now but it's going to come up so basically going to try and prepare for that window of time as much as i can in prepping panels prepping what i can on the car just so that when it comes to painting it's quite straightforward yeah anyway so as a method of attack we're going to start at the front and just move backwards makes sense to me i suppose i tend to just hop from one area to another so it'd be nice to try and to be right front end engine bay area is finished and then move on to the interior finish that and then the rear end of the car has a little bit of work to do Oh well, yeah, stick around if you fancy being involved. Quite dusty. So yeah, like I said, a lot of the work's been done. We probably over a year ago, we repaired this, removed the fuse pedal box, the car had a pr uh, pedal box in it previously when it was on the road, patches here and there. But um, before I can bolt, basically, I want to have the bonnet on there, bonnet pins all affixed. Before I can do that, I've got a little, only a small little fabric welding task, zapping those on there, just a bit of two mil to strengthen. From the slam panel, the car's actually going to come off the frame. I'll make up an A frame underneath just to hold it where it is so that the bumper can get on and off. I currently, can't because the way the rollover jig affixes to the sh uh, shell. But yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Right, well, you look comfortable enough, so that probably do. Um, yeah, so there's a little bit of cleaning up to do before we can weld those plates in. So basically we get to get I've no idea whose jacket this is, but it's been down there for ages now, so it's, it's too late. If it's yours, leave a comment. You can come pick it up. It's not broken, it's just just got a knack, you know. I've got a spare plug somewhere, but it's it's just a little knack. It's in time and things like changing plugs. Not when you've got closets filled. Roasting in there, absolutely roasting. It's lucky Bill Gates hasn't released smell of vision yet because it'd be awful. You're probably wondering what, what the hell is he up to? Now? You just have to ask, all right? I'll, I'll show you. These little plates here go on the inside of this, so it gives the um, bonnet pins a bit more of a secure location rather than just having a couple washers on here. So yeah, we're just gonna end up, I don't know if that's out of focus, is it? So yeah, just a couple of little stitch welds along there. That should hold it. Okay. 
Right, so a bit better angle. You can see these are both welded on now. So yeah, so what's gonna happen next is we're gonna need to remove the car off the rollover jig. I'm gonna just make up like a square something that a bolt to the uh, cross member. And then that allow front end to go on, grill, bonnet, bonnet pins, hinges, wings bolting on and off, the whole lot. That's the next step. Build a little frame up with some scrap that we've got lying about. Cool. Ideally, I'd fold the doors back on the shell and work forward, but the doors are stored elsewhere, so to take them and they're complete glass, the whole mechanism's the lot. So to put them in the car, take them down here, struggle to get them on the car, don't know. Don't really want to do it, so I'm gonna try and see Everything's gonna need a little bit of shifting about movement anyway. Nothing can be bolted exactly, except from obviously the, uh, I don't know how much movement we're gonna have on the bonnet pins. There might be a little bit, a little bit of adjustment. There's gonna have to be, basically. It's all gonna have to have a little bit of wiggle room. So I'm gonna try and just do the wings forward. Yeah, so I've got a new pair of wings. Um, I think they're actually a base specification because they don't have the indicators but for me I'm not bothered in this case in fact I probably prefer it a bit less well one less thing in that you know so Got some of these, which is like you see them a lot in. in well, it's what Honda Touch Tank up actually, same, same sort of deal. But um, I figured rather than roof nuts, obviously with roof nut you need to drill quite a large hole, and we've not got much, not not much space on the wing uh, on the wing rails. So I think they're going to run along the top, and then they also allow a little bit of shift here and Mm. 
think, yeah. Let me see. Along here, I mean, it's not perfect, but um, it's, it's, it's not bad. I don't think these wings are that great. You can see things like this aren't helping the calls, but that's two in. Probably gonna follow this and put another one up here. Put in the is it a speed clip like that, on the panel where I want to um, mount it basically. So, this I was going to go quite far in here, but what's the point? I might as well clip it on there. Plenty of material. So, once we get to this point, You can see that's there's a bit of swarf in there, but that's what we're going for. So, yeah, I think I'm going to worry about the top and then worry and then worry about the bottom later. So now, I know that that lines up. Have a little marking on the inside, and now I drill those with the drill that hole with the same two drill bits as earlier. You can see, you can see we've got our old our hole in here. Pop that back on. The grill is to be believed. It's looking okay. Let's show you what I've gone up to. As you can see, there's a, it's five bolts holding them on. What I am thinking of doing is putting one in the middle here, but the wing rail is probably only comes out halfway. So I might make a little tab for one halfway down because that would just this side much the same really uh, a nice assortment of bolts down here so I might oh, where are you? so I might use some more of those clips something I'm not sure I can't stay like that. That's not bad progress. Maybe we should chuck the bonnet on. It's hiding under there. Uh, yeah, let me grab the bonnet quick. Well, it's going to sell. So, fiberglass bonnet I picked up. I'm going to get it away. It's just it's a bit of a one. Genuine one's got much more important duties, as you can see. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? 
and in Rome. Well, that was a pain, but it looks cool. So yeah, it's a little bit more car like. I've got quite a bit of messing around to do, maybe we need to fit that up. Bonnet pins need to be cut out. Pins need to be mounted on the, on the bonnet. Um, we need to finish mounting the wings. So yeah, plenty more to do. Yeah, I don't really know how long this is currently. Um, I haven't looked at any of the footage. Yeah, I don't know how that was in terms of like detail, if it's too detailed, if it's too slow, if it's too quick, if you want to see if it's up closer, I don't know. Just got to keep going, keep the pace up, get the car built. Because yeah, as mentioned earlier, um, there is, whilst I don't really know where, when it is, there is a bit of a deadline. So yeah, keep going forward and yeah, hope to see you next time. Sweet.